Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel Simply Stocks and today I am going to talk about Hester Biosciences, an interesting stock in a very niche space so let's understand whether you should buy at these levels or you should avoid it. So let's get started. First of all a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation, people taking any position into any share that I talk about should do that with their own due diligence and research and I am not in favor or against any company that I talk about. Before I talk about Hester Biosciences, it's more request that kindly support me on Patreon and once you do that it will help me grow the channel, it will help you also ask me questions in greater detail. Once you get the $10 membership, you'll have access to my portfolio, my watch list and a number of podcasts that I put up from time to time. Uh, also if you pay $100 up front, then you get 2 months extra. So you pay for 10 months and you get 12 months subscription of that membership. For detailed market or company talk or a number of stocks you are holding, you can directly email me and we can work things out. Now about the company, Hester Biosciences was established in 1987 and they, it is one of India's leading animal healthcare companies. Uh, one of only two companies that is separately listed uh, in the Indian uh, bourses, second largest poultry vaccine manufacturer and exports around the globe including to Europe, Africa and, and Southeast Asia. Uh, products are ranging from vaccines, health products to diagnostics and the market cap of the company is not that big. It's around 2000 crores, 1900 crores, although it has risen a lot over the last, uh, you can say, decade or so. But over the last five years, it has uh, probably, you can say, doubled or so, just over doubled. But uh, over a decade, it has been a multi-bagger. If you look at the financials of the company, then sales were up by around 11%, profit went up by only 8%. This is because of a very difficult environment that we have seen globally. So even Q3 numbers were not that great. Uh, debt is low, but there is decent promoter holding. The biggest point of the company is to have an operating profit margin of around 35% and a return on equity of around 26% which is quite uh, decent and, and I believe that going forward this is what is going to uh, keep it apart from other uh, you can say uh, companies. If you look at the performance of the stock then the stock has done very well in the last 12 months so what it has done is that from uh, you can say the lows of uh, FY20 it has done extremely well have more than doubled since last March as I have explained it's more than 100% up uh, it has a high ROE and profit growth that is an extremely positive sign and that is why uh, there were a lot of takers when the stock fell to sub 1000 levels and now it is about 2000 rupees uh, currently trading at a reasonable value I won't say it is expensive even now Although uh, the PE would seem that way, but if numbers really kick in, then this doesn't seem expensive. Although one can buy into the stock on any major decline. So uh, sector is coming back into focus uh, because of whatever the pandemic is happening and, and, and the situation around us. It is the pharmaceutical and healthcare system, uh, the sector that is coming back into fashion. But you need to keep an eye on liquidity because there is low liquidity, which is a positive in, in a sense that if the numbers really sustain and the company is good, then you will get sharp up moves. But if uh, the numbers are not that great and there, there is bad news around, then the stock may fall extremely quickly. So why I believe it is a buy on decline? This is in a unique business with top clients and it is into a business of animal healthcare which, which is quite unique and very few companies listed in that. Uh, Sequent is one and this is another one. Uh, but there is more competition coming through and that is the last point I have written here. So Cadilla has sold its uh, business to PE funds and, and major investors and they are going to take care of that business. So I think that is going to be a stiff competition as well. So there are two, three companies vying for the same space. So you need to take that into account. The defensives are coming back into focus. So I think this will continue to do well if numbers sustain for the next couple of years and top and bottom line has been strong over the years so just uh, taking out last quarter's numbers 
where normally what has happened is that the top and bottom line has done well and we have seen how return ratios have panned out uh, this is a these are attractive levels it has been consolidating so these are good levels to get into and on declines if you have a two three year time frame uh, not as a very short term trade uh, return ratios are strong So what needs to be done in my opinion you can buy now and on declines to 1800 1750 levels may emerge as one of the winners when markets recover so you have to understand that when things really get going and everything normalizes this could end up being quite big and not just being around this 1900 2000 crores or something like that have a five year view three four year view and you will make good money into it that that's what it seems like but always buy on declines and have less than 10 percent exposure into such stocks so this was a video on hester biosciences please like and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so you can get my videos straight away when i post it thanks a lot for watching